This video is for sixth grade math for least common multiple and greatest common factor. So there's a video posted right now also for least common multiple. So this one is going to do least common multiple and greatest common factor and then we'll also look, to look at relative primes. For now, we're going to look at the numbers 9 and 15. So the first thing we always do is we make our factor tree for the number 9. Our only prime numbers. 9 is a perfect square, so we're going to end up with just two prime numbers. It doesn't always happen, but with the number 9 it is. So I'm done with the number 9. Now I can move on to the number 15. 3 and 5 go into the number 15, so I'm done. Yay, you say. I agree. Good. So the next thing we need to do is write our factors, our prime factors, as a multiplication sentence. So starting with the number 9, we'll say 3 times 3. Now remember, we have a shorthand method of writing 3 times 3. In math, we can also say 3 squared. We could say 3 to the second power. We could also say uh, 3, I'm sorry, the second power of 3. There are different ways we can say that for the number 15. We do not have any repeating factors, so we just have 3 times 5. Next thing we need to do, if we're looking for least common, least common multiple, that's very important. Remember, least common is saying the lowest common number that is a multiple of both of these numbers. We could say in other, there's another way we could say this, we could say the lowest common multiple. Okay, there are other ways we can say this, and I always just abbreviate multiple, M-U-L-T. Least common multiple, but we're wanting the number that's the nearest to 9 and 15, the number that's the very closest to this number and this number and is a multiple of 9 and 15. Very quickly before I move on, remember I can double check my answer if I can multiply these numbers back together and get my original number. 3 squared is obviously 9, 3 times 5 is 15, so I know I've factored properly. So moving on to my least common multiple, remember multiples get bigger and factors get smaller. So I'm going to look for my bigger numbers. So looking at the number 9, which has the 3 squared. 3 squared, that has an exponent, as opposed to this, this 3 that does not have any exponent. So 3 squared is going to be the bigger number. So I'm going to choose that 3 squared to help me find my least common multiple. Next thing I'm going to do, do I have any numbers that are not common to both? Guess what? That 5 is not common, but because I'm looking for my multiple, I have to include it. So I'm going to include that 5. So 3 squared is the same as 9 times 5. Therefore, my least common multiple is 45. Now, I can tell if my answer is correct. If 9 can be divided easily and evenly into 45, and if 15 can be divided evenly into 45, 9 times 5 is 45, and 15, let's see, I know 15 times 2 is 30, so 15 times 3 must be 45. Let's check our math. Let's make sure we're right. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 plus 1 is 4. Yes. So our least common multiple is 45. Next thing we're doing, though, we're going to move on and get our greatest common factor. Now, greatest common factor has given some people some trouble, so let's work on this together. Just making some room on my screen here. Greatest common factor. Now, greatest common factor, remember that factors get smaller. Factor 
is smaller. So I'm going to choose the smaller number. And you know what I'm going to do? If there's a number on one side, like this 5, that's not on the other side, there's no 5 with 9, I'm not going to use it. I don't need to. Only if I've got the same number on both sides am I going to use one of these prime factors. So, looking at my prime factor for number 9, I have 3 squared. Okay, Is that bigger or smaller than just 3? 3 squared's real name is 9. 3 by itself is just 3. So I'm going to choose that 3 for my greatest common factor. Now, since I don't have any other common, you see shared common factors other than that, for, that 3, I'm done. Maybe. Let me double check my math. Can 9 be divided evenly by 3? It sure can. I can look down here and see that. Can 15 be divided evenly by 3? Yes, it can. It's right here. So I know I'm right. 3 is a prime number. There's no way it can get any smaller than that. So 3 is my greatest common factor. And 45 is my least common multiple.